The Incredible Dog Challenge has been brought to you by Purina. Your pet, our passion. And by PetCentric.com for all things pet. Back, the house is still packed at Purina Farms, the third round of Incredible Diving Dog action. Mossberg getting set for his third round jump. Mossberg's been jumping in the 26 foot range, is gonna have to up that by a couple of feet if he wants to be a top contender. Okay, Mossberg, stop. Gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it! And does a pretty good jump out into the Purina Pro Plan pool. Going after that bumper. 26 feet, eight inches, so an improvement there. That's the best of three for Mossberg. Straight down, could have gotten a lot more distance off of the dock. A lot of times that's where it counts. Way back on his takeoff, but a nice, clean, laid out position in form. Good job from Osper. All right, now Missy gets set to roll. 28 feet, two inches, the best so far by Missy. So one of the only dogs putting the pressure on Cisco, Shalene. That's right, 28 feet, seven inches is the distance to beat. Can Missy do it right here in her third and final jump? to the end of the pool, and she does it. 28 feet, 10 inches, Shaleen. That is a new Incredible Dog Challenge. World record takes over the lead from Cisco. Takes over the lead and takes over that world record title. An amazing jump here. I think her toenails actually wrapped off of the end of the stage. You cannot get closer than that. That's right, and the pro plan jump line showing the 28 foot seven inch mark by Cisco. Three inch improvement by Missy. A new Incredible Dog Challenge world record as we get set for Gunner. Of course, Gunner showed us 27 feet, 10 inches on his last jump. Can he improve? It would have to be a foot better to take the lead. You ready? Come on, boy! Get up there! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Gunner, nice, almost to the end of the pool. These dogs, they're gonna have to make a new pool. And we just did that a couple of years ago because they started jumping so far. Come on, boy. 28 feet, five inches, very impressive by Gunner. So a lot of dogs now putting the pressure on the top dogs on the leaderboard. Proving his own best, laying it out there. This dog really has a lot of height as opposed to a laid out position, but not quite far enough to get past the pro plan jump line. Dead on, focus and concentration, a very nice throw by the bumper. Again, you gotta watch that because the dog's eyes stay on it and that leads to where his nose enters the water. And that leads us to Dax's third jump. Terry Alexander is the trainer. Dax's last jump was 25 feet even. He'd have to improve quite a bit here to get up into the leaders. But nonetheless, he's going to go for it, his third and final jump right here. Terry actually told us that Dax is actually capable of diving to the bottom of the pool and retrieving things. Not normal for a dog. Goes down straight under the water. And he does good on top, retrieving this. I think he improved upon his uh, last jump. Oh, indeed. 26 feet, 8 inches. Quite an improvement for Dax. So obviously a little bit short of the Purina Incredible Dog Challenge world record set by Missy a moment ago. But focus, he uses a rubber duck to get him out into the water. Again, a lot of it could count on the throw. And there's Cisco. Looking very intense just in the photo. Rob Barnhill is wondering, how do I get Cisco out past the 28 feet, 10 inch mark? I talked to Rob earlier, he said that Cisco has been reaching the 30 foot range in training. But competition is a different story. Dogs kind of know when it is competition time, and so do the trainers. I just love the way he shakes. That's just got to be pure excitement to let me go, let me get it. Cisco, Cisco, get it, get it, get it, get it. Cisco looking to grab yeah. back the world record. That's it right there. That was close, Shaleen. 28 feet. Eight right, inches. Ups his own world record, but not enough. Missy takes over. Cisco, though, very strong. This dog has great form all the way through his jump. Off the dock, down low, the speed, right up to the edge of the platform. 
lays it out straight and stays focused on that bumper. Very nice job, but not quite enough to get past the world record line. And now Jack gets ready to go for jump number three. Mike McWilliams, very intriguing story we told earlier. What an effort to be here. Definitely the goosebump story of the day when he lost his leg in a boating accident recently, and they're here competing at the national finals. Incredible. Set. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice indeed, Jack's second jump, 26-2, improves on that. 27 feet, 5 inches. Gotta be happy with that performance. Look at the height on this dog. A lot of the dogs propel straight out. His distance comes from the height, and that's going up and after that bumper. He actually caught it mid-air. Huge props to Mike McWilliams for just being here. Nice work, you guys, as we get set now to check out Wiley, our final competitor. We'll see if Wiley can bring down Missy's 28 feet, 10 inch jump. The crowd is pumping up Wiley. Getting ready to go. Wiley's best so far, 26 feet, three inches. Dean Skillman trying to get him revved up for his last shot at maintaining his national championship. But you know, Trace, with that world record set here, he's going to have to go a couple feet further. Yeah, Wiley, I think it's just psyched to get in the water. It's hot outside today. Here we them, go. it's all a game. They don't know that there's a championship on the line. Just give me the bumper, Dad. Beautiful dog. Here we go. Final competitor. Look at the focus. Come on, Wiley. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Ooh. Little bobble right off of the stage, Shalene. Nice jump. He actually out-jumped the bumper. Good job. Improving by an inch on his second jump. He's now 26 feet, 4 inches. Wiley, full speed ahead. Little bobble jumping off there, but look. Loses sight of the bumper and still stays forward focused. It's like he's in the starting blocks when he takes off. Stays out there, going forward, even though the bumper was behind him. So that means Wiley will give up the national championship title to Missy with the 28-foot, 10-inch jump. Shaleen's with our champions. Dan, you and Missy have had quite a year. Believe it or not, she's only been jumping for how long? One year. One year. <laughs> since 30 August. Yep. And, of course, it's really built on the dog's natural ability. She started out at what, and how have you gotten her to she, over 28 feet? Well, she started at 23 feet, and then now she's... She's really hitting her prime now. She's really enjoying it. She, I think she's an October girl. She, she gets to play in October and she loves it. Uh, she loves that toy. And you know what? Oh, yeah. 28 feet, 10 inches, a new world record here at the Purina Incredible That's Dog Challenge. Yeah. <laughs> she's Your great. First time here. Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Sure is. Sure right. is. <laughs> Not bad. Congratulations thank to you, you guys. Got a champion. Well, thank you very much. Yep, she's good. All right. Well, that concludes our coverage of the Purina Incredible Dog Challenge National Finals on NBC. Congratulations to our new national champions, Amy Hanridge, atop the podium in the Large Dog Agility. And it's a family affair as John Hanridge and Mesa win the Small Dog Agility event. There's Daniel Vegas. He has reason to celebrate the freestyle flying disc. And Will dashes to victory in the Jack Russell Hurdle Race. And what a day for Cindy as she gets a new Guinness World Record in the high jump, 68 inches. And folks, who needs two eyes to win the 60 Weave pole race? Not Pickle, the champion. Produced by Focus TV in association with Carson International. For Shalene Cockerell, I'm Trace Worthington. We'll see you later from Purina Farms and the National Championship Finals. This dog is out. <laughs>